Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. I really like Mexican food. And I was checking to see cut all kind of spices that they use to give them the taste they have. I'm going to show you a recipe that we have gotten together and you can save it in a, a jar and use it on hamburger meat or chicken or even dried beans. It's great on dried beans, you know, like pintos or great northern beans. So let's start out and we'll show you what spices we got mixed up together. First spice we have is a fourth of a cup of chili powder. You know, most all Mexican foods have chili powder. <laughs> and almost every Mexican food has cumin in it. And this is two tablespoons of cumin. Two tablespoons of coriander. It's two tablespoons of oregano. Two tablespoons of basil. The next spice we're going to use is thyme, and it's about a teaspoon of that. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. One tablespoon of black pepper. One and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper. That sounds pretty hot, but now you know you can adjust this seasoning if you want to. The next one is a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. That's all our spices. What we're going to do is mix these up real good. We'll put them in a jar and it keeps for several months. Keep it in a dry, cool place. Okay, we're going to get this little funnel so I don't spill it all over the place and put it in this little jar and we're going to seal it up. And then when you get ready to make chicken or ground beef or whatever we want to put Mexican flavor on it, you got it there handy. you want to label this. I think you ought to put a date on that too. Another thing, you save a lot of money doing that too. If you buy that stuff, it costs you a lot more in the store than it would when you divide it out that way. Well, that's all of that little short video. I hope you try this and enjoy it. I'll see you on another video. Thank you for watching.